I saw this cool idea online the other day. It's called Clock Clock 24. And the idea is that you just have these clock hands and they randomly spin and then it shows the time. So I started working on this and then I realized that I hadn't made a YouTube video in a while and I thought, you know what, let's turn it into a video. So right now it's just randomly spinning, but in the thing I saw it's actually pretty cool. Maybe make some sort of cool pattern or picture, I don't know. I'm probably going to do that last because I want it to show the time correctly. So I do this with this idle animation that's just kind of changing it by some value. I use this by creating a clock class, which is each of these little circle things, and it has a location, and our X and Y, all of that. And of course you have to display the clock, right, you know, with at its location, you draw the circles at whatever location. Okay, so now I have the correct time displaying. It's 8.14 a.m. So, it's displaying 8.14, it splits it. So now I have to do a 2x3 array. Kind of like this over here, this 2x3 array, we have to probably do an array of arrays because each clock has two hands and it has a some angle. 45, 90, 0, whatever. All the way up to 360 degrees. So that's an array, and there's an array of arrays. So it has six 2x1 uh, arrays. And then there's one set of those for each digit. So I'll probably just pre-program each digit. So now I have to work out each digit. What that would be in angles. Okay, it's seven. Wait, wait, one. One that way, one that way, and that way. These two just go straight down, one full one and one with both pointing to the top, and the other two is probably just pointing diagonally to the left. So east, south, east, south, and this one's east, south. East, south, this one is north, west, okay. northwest. Okay, so for th three, you do uh, the east, east, and then you want the thing going left and down, so that's going to be southwest. Okay, five should just be a backwards two. So east south, east south. Then we want the next one to just be pointing straight to the left, so that's west west. I've literally been trying to work out how to do eight on a piece of paper. And this one kind of looks like a five. This one is, I think, the one I like the best. So I guess we'll try it. There's not much documentation on this kind of clock other than like five numbers that I've seen and I can work out most of them in my head. Okay, so that's what eight looks like. Um, I don't know if I could do any better, honestly. Honestly, I think that's probably the best I'm going to get. <laughs> okay, I think the six that I drew doesn't look too bad. This gap is going to be a tad annoying, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so now I have this map. Some of them are more janky than others. Cough, cough, eight, and six. And you only need the southwest as the angled directions, but I think I might add the other one for the sake of completion. <laughs> Great. Boom. I also now have the block working. You just have to break each into its six components that you do and draw the line for each of them. That's really not as hard as I thought it would be. But that's why you break each digit up manually. You don't have to have it work it out itself. But it should be 9 a.m. in a second. So 
I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. And hopefully, yeah, 9 o'clock. Because it was just 8.59. Okay. So now we just have to make the idle animation cool. Because that's what I saw. Trying to do cool random patterns is such a pain. But I at least got it to slowly move to the time, which is nice. But trying to do cool patterns, like and it uh, go to them seemingly randomly, is <laughs> kind of hard. I cannot get it to just randomly move and make it look cool. So I'm literally just programming a sequence of moves, <laughs> just so it at least works something. But I think I'm just going to tell it to do this sequence. Okay, I got it to the position that I want. Now I'm just going to put this on the TV so it can have the big reveal on the big screen for YouTube and dramatic effect. So now it's, it is literally wireless, so it's kind of laggy, but look at that. It's just spinning around to these cool patterns. It's just the, the pattern I drew on the sticky note, but I think it's kind of cool. And now, look at this, it's about to show 1021. I really like that. 1022. I don't know, I just, it's so satisfying. And then, after 30 seconds, right, we sit here, do 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 do. The problem with clocks is that you literally have to wait on them just to test if everything works. And now they spin, do the little idle animation. It's so satisfying. It's not normally this laggy, it's literally just because I'm sharing it to the TV. And then, back to time. And then, like, five seconds. There we go. That was a second. But it updated the time. This is one of my favorite programming projects. Honestly, it wasn't that bad to make either. If this video gets 25 likes, I guess I can post the code.